빵. 굿 모닝. Me and Kira have a field trip. And their classes are going together. Ever since they were in kindergarten, they've been in separate classes. But every time there's field trips, the classes always pair, which I'm so grateful for. <laughs> so last year's field trip, we did a tribal museum. And then this year, we're going to a salmon, I guess like a salmon egg farm. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I think today they're gonna release the egg. I don't know, we'll see. I'll vlog a little bit here and there. Ironically, I like so minty. It's almost burning your mouth, but I, I like it because I feel like it's working. <laughs> I've tried the, I don't know if it's like the non-alcoholic one, but the one that doesn't do that. And my mouth feels gross afterwards. Anybody else feel the same? they get to release them. Actually, I was very hungry, so thank you, auntie. And I'm about to have some bulalo. Yay. I can't even remember the last time I had this. Really? Yeah, I can't remember. What are your hours, by the way? 11 to 3.30 or 4. Depends. Yeah, whenever I mean, the like food sells. Yeah. Sometimes I run out of food, so I gotta stop serving. I'm getting the VIP treatment right now, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you guys are ever in downtown Seattle, you know you've seen me a lot. Pike Place. There is one place you have to stop for lunch. Oriental Market. That was amazing. If you know about Bulalo, it's really popular in the Tagaytay -tai area, uh, Batangas in the Philippines. This, better, better. And she has some tricks up her sleeve. I'm not gonna reveal them here. You'll have to just go there and maybe watch her one day. She's cooking right there in front of you. So yeah, right here, right across the street from the seafood guys, right down past that little store, Oriental Mart. Okay, first off, I need to treat this zit. It is, how many kids? Okay, so there's definitely over 40 kids, maybe 50, because there were two, was it just two classrooms? Maybe three, I don't even know. And we left first thing in the morning. There are four activities and we're supposed to rotate. After the first activity, it felt like all the kids were so hungry. So every 10 minutes you hear, is it lunch yet? Is it time to eat? You know, the kids are just antsy. <laughs> Thank goodness we were outdoors, so I was really grateful for that. It's a lot, like I really feel for the teachers because teachers nowadays, I mean, this could be, this is a whole topic, but I truly believe teachers are underpaid and there's only so much they can do because kids nowadays compared to when I was an elementary child, kids could only be discipline to an extent before it's like now considered traumatic <laughs> obviously you can never lay a hand on a child the hard part just having everybody stay calm but i get it they're excited to be out and about this is like the one field trip in the year anyway i'm gonna have that on for the rest of the day oh no no i'm gonna take the girls out to get a haircut i'm gonna take leah to get her hair trimmed i might as well have bella get her hair it's just the bangs um i would usually do it at home but i don't want to mess up and plus i kind of just like want to get out of the house and of course the littles love it because they give lollipops there you go anyways uh, but what i was saying is I don't know how to talk to other kids. I don't know what's deemed inappropriate or like, sometimes I think, okay, maybe I'll talk to a kid the way I wish I was talked to when I was in school and kind of like, almost like as a friend, but then you don't want to get too comfortable to the point where they feel like they could like get away with stuff around you, you know? So I don't know, I really, it's so foreign to me. It's easy to kind of discipline little kids, but when they're older and they're not your kids, that, I don't know. Anywho, now that I'm home, I'm gonna get some editing done before the big kids get back and 
the babies wake up. Leah, let me see your bangs, baby. All right, we're gonna get a quick trim of the bangs. We're gonna keep the length. Bella Boo too. What's that, Bella? Choo choo. Yes, please, yes. So that'll give us a few months. Yay! What do you say, Leah? Yeah. You, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you like your bag now? You can see now? Oh, Aww, thank so you. Cute. That's perfect. Now you want a candy? Okay. Okay. Your bag again. Okay, your turn. Yes, ma'am. Stay home. is why they love coming here okay. for the candy okay yep yeah. say thank you uh, that's you perfect okay. thank you thank you the so one of the bonuses to going to that hair salon is right next to the asian market so the kids have so much fun shopping here you can pick one no these ones are good the poro poro those ones are so sweet grass jelly light you flavor Ooh, i've never heard of that you want that one? Okay, what about you, Leah? Leah, no, pick these ones. Those are hella sweet. Let me see. Yeah, those are 35 grams sugar. Hey, look at this one. Look, orange. Mango. There's blueberry. Really good. I like this one. I like it. Pick, no, pick one of the kid ones. That's too sweet. Oh, Leah. You want, no, the flavors? Mango. Oh. Hey, you almost kicked my face! Pizza kind of night. This was the um. I don't think I'm drinking like doo doo water. Okay, come on. Doo -doo Who would think it's doo doo water? It was like water with dirt in it. This is a banana milk cure I got for JB. Peach. No, and a peach. Don't. Is it good? No, no, does it taste? Oh, if you buy mod pizza, they give 20% of the sales to the school. Daddy just got back from Costco. But not just any Costco, the business Costco. What'd you find? What I got, something I've wanted, you always said I should get. What is it? Pizza boxes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I can deliver pizza to people in a proper box. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Every time we have at least one untouched pizza, he'll bring it to his parents, but then he has on to like bring on the rack. If you know me and you want a pizza and you're nearby, <laughs> there you go. I can deliver. BPs. Benji's pizza. The BPs. Honey, the BPs and the deliveries. Costco haul. Avocado oil. I was gonna try to deep fry with avocado oil from now on. Just try it out, see how it turns out. It was a business Costco, so I went kind of crazy with the mozzarella cheese. We'll use all of this up. Not just for pizzas, quesadillas, anything well, we need I, cheese for. You know what's funny? What? Is ever since Matt said you should use yeah, cheese, yeah, yeah. I use that for sandwiches. There you too. go. I was gonna try prosciutto on a pizza. Or car car oranges. Car car navel oranges. Oh, I always thought car car was a cross between navel and a blood orange. Then it's asparagus, bacon, whole chickens. I'm probably gonna make it soup stock maybe tonight. Butter and blueberries. Judy said we needed some laundry detergent. This is what we buy for our dishwasher. Then I got those pizza Mommy. boxes, kombucha Mommy. and milk. Mommy. Mommy's not in the pantry. Don't get distracted by those. She's looking at the S N A C K S. Oh no no! Come on, mommy's upstairs. Oh my gosh! Hey, mommy's upstairs. No, you don't need snacks. You need help? 
Don't look till I come. Bonk. I hear come too. Ah, that's it. Here, just you can combine it so it's lukewarm. There you go. Sit. <coughs> okay. Good job. Give me a kiss. From you. Quick update on my splinter. It's still there. But it's not bothering me. It's not painful at all. Thank goodness it's not infected. Like, I think it's just gonna rid itself. I don't think it's gonna be worth the discomfort of trying to take it out. But thank you everyone for your suggestions. Some people were saying you can use duct tape to get it out. But I think that's if a piece of it is sticking out. Like there's literally nothing sticking out. <sighs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna end our night here. I'm gonna start the dishwasher and then we're gonna finish up The Gentleman. We only have two more episodes, so it's kind of bittersweet. We might even finish it tonight because it's 9.30. If we start in the next 10 minutes, we'll still go down at a decent time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Night-night.